Hi everybody, Stephanie here from The Style Safari. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all of my favorite fabrics from the website Spoonflower in order to make clothing. If you don't know what Spoonflower is, it's an amazing website where you can design your own prints or shop thousands and thousands of prints designed by artists on so many different fabrics. These patterns can then be printed on wallpaper and a myriad of different fabrics. Although Spoonflower has an amazing array of fabrics for home decor and children's clothes and all sorts of other things, today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite fabrics to sew apparel with. And I'm gonna share with you with the projects that I've made. Before we get started, please hit subscribe below and click like as always so that other people can find these videos. So the first fabric I'm gonna share with you today is their cotton poplin. I created this dress last year and designed the pattern through watercolor painting. And then I blew up the pattern and had it printed on their cotton poplin. When the fabric arrived, it was a little more stiff than what you see here, but after I washed it, it had a little bit more of a softer washed hand feel. You can see the color prints very vibrantly. I had a red, a soft pink, and a light blue. And some of the intricacies of my pattern, including the watercolor that I did on a specific kind of paper, came through in the printing technique. I love this fabric because I think it provides a lot of structure if you're trying to add volume to a piece but it does tend to require a lot of ironing. So that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to do a piece that maybe is a little bit more difficult to iron. Another fabric I've used time and time again is Spoonflower's Poly Crepe de Chine. With this, I designed this green and pink print and several other coordinating green and pink dots and this kind of zigzaggy print. I did not design the black and white. I bought that from Joann's as a highlight. This fabric has a lovely flow. It's very lightweight. It is partially sheer, so depending on if you're picking a lighter um, print or a darker print, it might be more sheer. I can get away with wearing this dress without a slip underneath, but for some of the times that I've used this fabric, I've needed a slip. But it sews really easily and creates a really beautiful drape, which is great for dresses and tops. If you're interested in more uses of this fabric, be sure to click out the description center down below where I've linked to all of the designs that I've used this fabric in. Next up is Spoonflower's Modern Jersey. So as far as knit fabrics go, I really, really love the Modern Jersey because it is so soft and luxe. It feels like t-shirt material and it feels very expensive, which I love. You can also use this material for a baby or children's clothes as well because it's very soft and it washes easily. I used it to create this t-shirt for my trip to France and made a bias binding for the neckline and bound the sleeves as well. And you can see it's very professional and washes really easily. And the color came out perfectly and exactly how I expected. Another one of Spoonflower's fabrics that I love to sew with is their dogwood denim. This is a much more structured denim on a true white base, which is really nice if you're trying to get a very clean white look or if you're picking a print that needs a white background. I use it to create this very structured dress, which I have boning, but I also have pockets and ruffles and have some other details in it throughout that made it a really wonderful dress for my trip to France. I also think this would be a great fabric to make jackets, skirts, or any really structured item, also for kids. Another fabric that I've used a lot of is their cotton sateen. So this is my favorite cotton because I think it takes the most beautiful color. As you can see here, I really was able to get the dark black and the bright fuchsia that I designed in my pattern. I created this long gown to wear at a wedding and also glued on little rhinestones and put boning in to give it even more structure. Like the cotton poplin, the cotton sateen does wrinkle easily, so I would suggest making sure that when you do pick your design that you're picking something with a little more volume where the wrinkles won't show as much. I sewed with this fabric many times and I will also provide links below to more images of this dress as well as some of the other items I've made with this fabric. Another fabric I've had printed several times is their Sport Lycra. This also has a nice white base which makes it really great for graphic prints in sportswear. I find that it really retains its stretch very well, but it is very stretchy, so make sure you have a machine that can handle a more heavy duty stretch material like this one. My last favorite material from Spoonflower is their poly chiffon. As you can see, I haven't started making the dress that I bought these fabrics for, but you can just see how beautiful the colors came out. This bright blue, this gorgeous fuchsia, and this really lovely emerald green. And you can see how they look on that sort of ivory off-white base. They are sheer, which is great like chiffon, but it's a really high quality soft chiffon. And you can use this for all sorts of dresses, tops, blouses, and probably also home decor items as well. I can't wait to use this fabric and I will definitely make sure to include a link below when I finally finish this dress. Thank you so much for watching my video today. 
As promised, all links will be below for all of the designs and the clothing that I made, as well as some of the prints that I've designed here as well so that you can shop them or kind of see what they looked like in their initial design. I really hope that this was a useful video for you guys so you can read through all of Spoonflower's amazing fabrics, but find the ones that are the best for the apparel and the projects that you are trying to create. Thank you so much. See you later.